have a dream. That my poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. Well, this coming Monday is a national holiday in honor of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. He is most remembered for his nonviolent platform to advance the civil rights movement. To honor the memory of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., the North Houston Frontier Club holds an annual breakfast here in town. And here to explain how that event keeps King's dream alive, please welcome Donnell Cooper and Charlene Johnson. Hello there. I, there is a question that's asked often these days because we are in different times from when that speech was delivered, and that is how important is it for us to keep noting this uh, event because we have an African American president now. You know, segregation doesn't mm -hmm. exist anymore necessarily, not by law anyway. Right. And so, why is it important for us to keep marching forward? Uh, well, our mission at the North Houston Frontiers, uh, we really try to keep the dream alive because of our youth. You know, our platform is, is education. Uh, we want to give back and scholarship opportunity. Uh, and when you look at the dream uh, that Martha, Dr. Martin Luther King set forth, it was all about the community. You know, uniting right. the community, uh, empowerment, uh, education platform. And so, uh, we're continuing this legacy by honoring him every. Year with this memorial breakfast. Yeah, and Charlene, although the laws changed, mm -hmm. it takes a while for people to change. We're still seeing, when you look at numbers, we still see where uh, things are not uh, equaled out, and we need to do that through education, which was a big part of Dr. King's platform. Is education is key. Exactly. You know, Dr. King, we'll be proud of the fact of the progress we've made with, as far as our leadership. We have more leaders that are CEOs. We have more leaders who own their companies, uh, political offices. But he would ask us, what are we doing to keep our youth on the same path mm -hmm. so they don't lose the focus or take for granted everything that's in place with their academics that have been prepared yeah. for them. Tell us about the breakfast. You have mm -hmm. uh, that 26th annual breakfast. You've raised over a million dollars in mm -hmm. scholarships so, so those kids can go forward and uh, raise a generation of kids who can have access to education as well. Uh, you have a guest speaker. Correct. Uh, our guest speaker this year is going to be uh, Mr. Willie Isles. He's one of our national directors for the Boy Scouts of America. Mm -hmm. And the breakfast is going to be January 20th downtown at the Hilton America's Hotel uh, at 8 o'clock in the morning. And uh, we have a wonderful platform. We're going to be honoring a drum major award for Miss Sarah Joseph, one of the directors with the Houston Rockets Foundation. Uh, two of our honorary chairs, Mr. Uh, D. Mars, uh, Keith, Keith Davis, uh, Ms. Dr. Sean Simmons with Exxon Mobil. Uh, so again, we, we're going to have a, a wonderful time on Monday. Yeah, and these are folks who are role models Correct. to say there's nothing in your way but you. Definitely. <laughs> right? Exactly. Right. Yes. Exactly. All right. Well, for more information on the MLK Memorial Scholarship Breakfast, you can log on to nhfrontiers.com. We'll also have the information on greatdayhouston.com. Well, in a city as big as ours, there is always something going on. So here to tell us about the winter happenings for this week, please welcome Chad Pitt with Mix 96.5 FM. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Okay. I'm good. I'm good. All right, so we have the uh, MLK breakfast that's going on and several right. other events in town. So much stuff. Uh, the MLK Day Parade, which happens on Monday. More than 300 culturally diverse groups, uh, 36 award-winning marching bands. Um, it's just going to be a great time. And it's Monday, 10 a.m. It lasts about two hours. It originates from Minute Maid Park. So, yeah, and uh, in the spirit the of unity, it's everybody. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Take the family. It's going to be a good time. So there's that. Also, the MLK Day a Battle of the Bands, the 13th annual, by the way. So. 20 nationally acclaimed marching bands from all across the country, from California to Mississippi to here in Texas. Uh, it's going to be a great time. That's Saturday at 4 p.m. at the Joe Kelly Butler Stadium, and admission is $10 for that. Yeah, they're so. not only musicians, they're also athletes because they get down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. They do some amazing stuff. Also, the, uh, the Day Peace Rally that's going to be at the Children's Museum. Great family event to take the kids. Um, special events include the listen to the speech that changed history. Yeah. Uh, it's a great time. And that's Monday at noon, and $5 will get you into the Children's Museum of Houston. All right. Yeah. And the other thing that's taking place, a big tradition here in Houston. Oh, my gosh. The, the Chevron Houston Marathon. Over 250,000 people at this. Uh, it's just the half marathon is on Saturday uh, at 7 a.m. and then the full marathon Sunday at 7 a.m. downtown Houston and they're asking for volunteers so you can go on site and volunteer. And I also have it on good authority that Clutch the mascot from the Rockets uh -huh. is running the full marathon. Oh, okay. 13. So if you see a big bear running towards you, don't be alarmed. <laughs> yeah. Unless Point him in the right direction because you probably can't yeah. see through that thing. Yeah, unless yeah. it's on all fours and then run. Yeah, yeah. And of course so. the volunteers, you can do all kinds of things. So I'm just wondering, as a volunteer, do you get a t-shirt? 
t-shirt because if I can hand out water and I get a t-shirt and people go, oh, did you run the marathon? I'm like, well. <laughs> well, of course I did. Yeah. Here's my well. shirt. Yeah. So, yeah. And, uh, and the best time, uh, the starting to finish line is the George R. Brown Convention Center. So that's the best place for that. So. Okay. Also, Tyler Perry's Hell Hath No Fury Like a Woman Scorned. Yeah, yeah he's right about that. <laughs> Tyler Perry can do no wrong, right? Yeah, yeah. Tyler Perry is fantastic. Hath no Fury Like a Woman Scorned. We know somebody who's dealing with that today. <laughs> yes, we do. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the live stage production, it's uh, Friday at 8 o'clock, and then Saturday, 3 p.m. to 8, and then Sunday at 7.30 uh, over at the Hobby. And believe it or not, three lucky studio members are going to walk away with tickets oh, yay. to the play. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're going to take it, and you're going to take it, and you're going to take it. Yeah. Everybody gets it. So. That's going on. Also, America's Got Talent is in town. Yeah. They're holding their auditions. If you watch the show, uh, you know what they're looking for. You have 90 seconds to impress the judges. And uh, it's Saturday and Sunday, from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. over at Reliant, but registration is required. So, America's Got Talent auditions.com yeah. to get registered. And we've had great representation from the Houston Woodlands area uh, right. on this show. Oh, look at that little guy right there. I wonder where he's from. Okay. But we, have, we had great representation on that show. Yeah, and I'll tell you that uh, they're already starting to line up. So, if you plan on wow. if you plan on going, you should probably go now. Yeah, yeah. Just, hey, what about the weekend uh, of winning with Mix? Weekend of winning. Okay, well, tomorrow morning, uh, we're giving you a chance to go to the Grammy Awards. 5.30, 6.30, 7.30, and 8.30 with the Adam Smasher morning show and then tomorrow afternoon at 2 50 the weekend of winning kicks off with tickets to see fallout boy and paramore they're going to be at cynthia woods on uh, august 1st and we're giving those tickets away all weekend long yeah so. all right and then finally if you are going through menopause and you're having a hot flash the ice at discovery green <laughs> might be a place to go <laughs> ice skating at discovery i'll be out there doing my little things my little dorothy <laughs> hamill um but anyway so uh that's still out there as well we know that during the holidays we focused on that but the ice on discovery green is also going on for the whole family that's that's right. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We'll hear you on the air today. Yes. You can listen to Chad weekday afternoons from 2 to 7 on Mix 96.5. For more information on any of the happenings for this weekend, log on to GreatDayHouston.com. Last year, this local group blew us away with their amazing rendition of Oh Holy Night. Now, Music Doing Good is back to share a special song for the new year. We'll hear from them next. We have fallen.